You ready? Yes. Doctor Who was first broadcast at 20 seconds and 16 minutes past 5. 80 seconds after the scheduled programme time of 5.15pm on Saturday, November the 23rd, 1963. The Doctor, as he is known, no first name, no last name, just the Doctor. Doctor Who is the question of the series as well as the title. He is a Time Lord from the planet Gallifrey. Uh, more on the Time Lords in a bit. When we first meet him, he is travelling through time and space with his granddaughter, Susan. He travels in his TARDIS. What's a TARDIS? <laughs> TARDIS is a sentient time-travelling ship. TARDIS stands for Time and Relative Dimensions in Space. The TARDIS can travel to any time and almost any dimension. It used to be able to disguise itself and camouflage to its surroundings, but the chameleon circuit malfunctioned on Earth, so now it is permanently disguised as a Mackenzie Trench-style police box. Ever since his granddaughter left him, he has travelled through time and space with a number of companions. Thirteen actors have taken on the role of Doctor Who Wait, 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 wait. hang on a sec. Sorry, too much info? No, 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 so far so good. Some old wizard travels through time and space in a live police box. Yeah, well, that's sort of right. But he's this strange old man who travels with companions. Mm-hmm. And they're all young ladies. Yeah. Well, mostly. Okay. And no one has ever questioned this. I mean... <laughs> You know. It was the 60s when it all began. It, it was a different, more innocent time. <laughs> really? <laughs> Operation Utree begs to differ. Rob, behave. <sighs> to be fair though, yeah. I, mean, I and others now look back and think nowadays it could be mistaken. But the last few actors to play the Doctor were cast younger, so there was less of a divide. But this also brought with it actually more annoying things. Yeah, like romance. The Doctor is above such things. Well, he is half human. He's half human? Yeah. Well, maybe. So you don't count the 1996 Paul McGann TV movie canon? Even though we've now seen him regenerate into John Hurt? No. Well, uh, maybe. Anyway, I'll continue, shall I? Please! So, he's this ancient Time Lord, half-human, who likes to surround himself with pretty women. I like this guy. Anyway... The Time Lords. They are the High Lords of an ancient culture. They're from the planet Gallifrey. So, are all these people on this planet Time Lords? <laughs> no. All Time Lords are Gallifreyan, but not all Gallifreyans are Time Lords. Is that clear? No. Not really. Anyway. The Time Lords monitor all time and prevent it from being abused or manipulated in any way. The Doctor is a renegade Time Lord who stole his TARDIS because he was tired of their rule of non-interference. The Time Lords were all but destroyed in a war. A time war between them and the Daleks. Daleks! Right, I know what they are! <laughs> They're the one with the plungers, right? Plungers. Yeah! Daleks. Uh, can't go upstairs. Look like pepper mills. Talking no silly voices. They are the most evil creations in all time and space. They're not to be taken so trivially! Is he for real? Rob. Yeah, Liam takes Doctor Who very seriously. I'm standing right here. Look, it's obvious I'm wasting my time. I'll oh, come and get my stuff another time, Andrew. I guess I'll go and see my girlfriend a bit early when I die. Girlfriend! Yes! Girlfriend! He's a sensitive little flower, isn't he? <laughs> Twat.